Well, I'll, we'll start at the end if we can. Um, it looked like a push on Phil Jevons. You've just seen the video. What do you think? You're right. It was a push, without a doubt. It's a penalty. I just said to the referee in there, if that had been halfway through the first half, he'd have given that. You bottled it. Simple as that. And he just said to me, you need to check the video. I said, no, I don't. No, I don't at all. I now said, you have checked the video. It certainly doesn't change your mind. Anymore. I've just seen it now. It's even worse than I thought. And it's, it's frustrating because did you feel you'd done enough to win the game? Um, in terms of um, possession and getting involved in the second half, probably, yeah. Mm. Up to... 41st minute, no. You know, I thought we were, we, we didn't come out of the traps like I, I wanted us to or like I expected us to. But there again, um, I'm looking at the positive side and thinking, you know, would, you, would I have accepted seven points out of nine? Then I've got to say yes. So, you know, mixed feelings. They made it difficult for you, and they're entitled to do that, of course, but particularly second half, I mean, they just put nine behind the ball working and they made it really tough for you. Yeah, and every credit to, to them, you know, they're, they're in a stiff position and they've got to get points and they've got to have a, a tactical game to go and get them. And when they come here um, and they're going to be facing a team that's won two games and big crowd, they've got to get themselves sorted out. And, you know, I think if I'd have been their manager, I'd have been disappointed because they worked hard as well today. It was a battle for you after the worst possible start, really, wasn't it? Yeah, getting, um, getting Reese going down um, so early. That was difficult because you, you really don't want to change mm. your personnel so early in the game. Um, but, you know, these things are, are sent to us and you've got to deal with it. I was looking at Reese. I mean, it's clearly the hamstring. Do we know what grade it is or how long he's likely to be out? No, not yet. I've got to go into... I've just been in with the lads and um, with the players, so uh, I'll go and speak to Roger shortly and find out. But uh, as with m most hammies, I mean, that looked a particular one. Lots have been mm. had always been shot. Mm. So... Um, Hopefully I'm wrong, but um, you know who knows with Ami for a couple of three or four weeks minimum. As you said earlier, though, you look at the, the broader picture in a festive period that's produced seven points from a possible nine. You, you can't really have too many complaints at the moment. No, I, do, do you know what I'm like? I, you know, you, you have a bite and you want another bite, and you get one point, you want three points, and um, the, the lads are as, as disappointed as I am because they felt they've um, put the concrete down the last couple of games and they've got um, a block to build on. And I think they expected three points today, you know, if they put the effort in. And, but it wasn't going to happen, you know, for a few reasons. Um, I'm disappointed at the not getting three points, but when I look at the bigger picture for the three games, then, you know, as I say, I've got mixed feelings about it. And of course, now you've got New Year's Day uh, away to Bradford Park, haven't you? What sort of challenge does that present when you've you've just played a team like Bradford and, and, and beaten them quite comprehensively? I suppose expectations are going to be high. Well, I've just heard they've had a good win. They beat North Ferriby, aren't they? 3-0 mm. today or something like that. So, uh, you know, there, there's something happened there today. Um, we, we've experienced North Ferriby, what they did to us here. You know, it's like... it's. There's no games that you're going to win and there's no games that you're definitely going to lose. It's a, it's a mental hit. You know, it's 80% uh, mental.com, <laughs> and that's and that's what it turns out most games. Pleased to see Christian Dennis back today, came off the bench and had one chance, didn't he, towards the end of the game, midway through that second half? Yeah, he, you know, Christian gets in front of goals, either, even though it's a bit of a distance out, but with that left hammer that he's got, mm. you know, there's, there's no reason why that couldn't have gone in, but um, keeper dealt well with it. I think he ducked and hit him, didn't it? Um, but, you know, Christian's back in contention. Um, so looking forward to getting some more games out of him. And with Reese absent now, obviously for, for maybe three or four games, it's it's going to be important. It's a squad game, as you, as you keep reminding the players. Yeah, I told them today. You know, I've had to, again a few difficult decisions, and some people that I probably would have given a uh, look on the bench. I postponed that look because we was in a uh, a decent run of form. I didn't want to upset the you know the the bunch too much, but. You know, it's everybody's got to put a value on the shirt, and if you get a lazy performance or if you get um, an area where we're not sort of up to scratch, then you have to review it each game. And an unbeaten end to this year, and that's exactly the way you would have wanted to have finished it. Can you say that again? I like that. <laughs> an unbeaten end to the year. Brilliant. Yeah, it was an unbeaten end. <laughs> Top man. Cheers, Al. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.